Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day two of the March Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, yeah, string compression, 443. Uh, I got home kind of late today, so, but I'm not tired because I think I figured out my tiredness. I mean, I'm a little bit mentally tired, but not, I don't know. But I think that's another topic for another time. But in any case, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's let's do this together. Uh, we have a thousand-ish day streak, so definitely we'll be keep on doing it. If you're new to the channel, definitely keep on. Uh, I don't know, keep on keeping it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Four forty three string compression. So you give me a uh, calculus of uh, okay. So you basically you want to do with this only one. Okay, so this is of course um, hmm, the one two is kind of weird, but I guess that's fine. But but yeah, uh, but the way that uh, I would think about this is kind of um, this is actually something called one length encoding, uh, and it actually comes up a lot. Eh, does it actually? <laughs> Let me try to think. I mean, it comes up enough that I know to, uh, know what it is uh, by its other name, but it comes up like randomly because it just seems like a very interesting thing for people to kind of play around with, and then you have. Um, and the other thing that's kind of related to this is this idea of a Huffman tree, right? Um, which is in this farm and probably with, out of scope. I think, it's, is, is it Huffman with an U or O? Oh, hmm. Huffman tree is with a U. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Uh, for stretch go. <laughs> so if you want to, you know, just if you're into compression and stuff like this, these are the two kind of uh, first thing to kind of look at, right? There are other things, of course, that are more interesting as well as you get deeper but, but I think these are kind of like very basic things and the, the cool thing about Huffman you know that's totally unrelated to this part is that it is also a greedy algorithm so you could definitely um, uh, uh, even though I haven't used it or heard of it or played with it in like a long time just that knowing that fact means that I can actually recreate it from scratch um, you know uh, uh, just from that first principle right anyway uh, and I don't mean I don't mean to sign as a brag. I think I'm just a little bit off tangent a little bit. But anyway, one length encoding, right? So, I mean, I don't think there's anything that tricky about it. I'm not sure why this is a medium. But, uh, in fact, in uh, in what language? In Python, there's a thing called group by. Obviously, um, or maybe not obviously, but in any case, I'm not going to use this because... Uh, oh, wait, wait. Maybe I misread this. Hang on. So, you're supposed to modify the input away. Okay, so maybe that makes it a little bit more interesting, and maybe that justifies medium rating. Um, I mean, I think the idea is still kind of the same, uh, and I don't think there's anything that complex about it per se. Uh, it's just that now you have to kind of make it in place, right? Which is a little bit whatever, but... I think with, with things like this, when you're doing things in place, the only thing that I worry about is kind of uh, reading your rights, right? Or the other way around rather you don't want to read your rights you want to make sure that when you write you don't need that space anymore right so that's basically one and i think in this case um it should always be good because basically there are really only three edge cases technically more but we could divide it into three which is that there's one character which is one so it only goes from one to one um and then there's you know uh, up to uh, up to ten or up to nine, sorry. Um, then it would be it could be compressed to two digits, right? And then more than that, let's just say I don't know, fifteen or something, right? This is going to be uh, obviously with two two additional digits or three numbers or three spaces in total. It's going to be less than fifteen or what? This isn't fifteen, but that's for ten. It is, for, you know, I didn't really count it, right? So, so with that, that's just. I mean, maybe this is obvious to you, but for me, this is something that I try to visualize a little bit so that I could. You know, be sure that I one um, read the form correctly because because if that's not the case, that means that maybe I misread some part, or maybe that they tell you in the problem how to address it, right? So okay. So yeah, so or you know, dealing with all that, um, yeah. Why is there so many downvotes? Hmm. I'm curious. Maybe there's some like really bad edge cases. I guess we'll see. But yeah, that's basically the idea. Um, so let's kind of get started, I suppose. Uh, so, so I was going to use I, but maybe let's make it more ex uh, explicit. Where you know, write 
pointer maybe, right? Pointer is equal to zero. A uh, read pointer is also equal to zero, right? So then while read pointer is less than n, that probably could have been a for loop, but I just kind of like to write it this way. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, sorry, I got an important ping, but uh, yeah, so okay. So then basically now we read the current uh, thing, right? So C is equal to this. Um, and then we need to keep track of a couple of things, but I just kind of was lazy about it. One is the current character, that's say is none, and then the current run is equal to zero, right? So basically now if C is equal to current character, and this will always be false to begin with, then current one is equal to one, and then current character is equal to C, but then we also have to write to the write buffer because that means that the current character changed. So then basically we want to write something like, um, oh, and also after you read a character, always increment so that you don't forget. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, so if, if current character is not none, so that's basically the only case, then we write to the write buffer, right? Um, so choice of write pointer is equal to um, the, the previous current character. So yeah, just the current character before we update it. And then we have to kind of do the string and encoding of the current run, right? Um, yeah. Oh, we have to return the length of the array. That's fine. We, that'll be just the right pointer. So we actually already handled it. Um, yeah. And then basically, yeah, I'm a little bit lazy. So let's just uh change into thing for x in uh this then charge of right pointer and we have to increment even previously uh but right uh and of course we actually have to um we actually have to uh make sure that current one is greater than one right because if it's one then we don't need to do it yeah okay otherwise Oh, oh wait, I, I messed this up. I meant this is not equal to. Sorry if you got confused by that. So if it is equal to, then all we have to do is current one increment, and that's it. Yeah, and then at the end, we return white pointer, and I think that should be it, uh, unless I missed a thing somewhere, and I did, clearly. Oh, 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 yeah, I, I did actually know... <sighs> I did have a mental note to kind of not forget, but then I forgot. So yeah, so basically if the current character is not none, at the very end we have to write the last buffer basically. So mm, maybe I could write uh, something like write buffer, right? I do also like change this to non-local or something, right? but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and that should be good. Yeah. Uh, looks good for these three. Let's uh, let um, maybe. Uh, I was gonna say maybe the empty string, but it seems like we have at least one character. Why appear with so many downwards? Let's. I guess we'll find out. Let's see what. Okay, so I actually I got it right on the first try. Ten sixty six day streak. Um. I do wonder what, what what are the edge cases? What did I what did past Larry fail on? Uh, okay, seems like I tried to do the same thing, but maybe. I guess I started on this first one. That makes it a little bit cleaner, actually. Maybe I don't know. What what does this get wrong on? It doesn't really tell you any. Maybe this was so long ago that it doesn't tell you, or I feel like they used to tell me. Um. I mean, I, I, I guess I, I ended, so what I did is that I appended this thing so that I don't have to, uh, <laughs> so I don't have to do the thing that I did. Um, but I do, hmm. but I mean, the idea is to still the same. So what's the complexity, right? Uh, the complexity is going to be linear time over one extra space. Um, we don't really use any extra space we, other than, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the pointers and stuff like this. Because um, we write directly into the thing in place. So, uh, yeah. Make this slightly smaller so you could see all of it. Um, that's all I have for today. That's all I have. So let me know what you think. 
stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.